my thing is I'm still trying to figure out like what my voice is or like like how can I be like oh like as soon as I hear some music like oh dang that sounds like Jahan made that so I read the comments to kind of say like oh like if I did something or if I was a part of something like people say oh I really really like this or I really really like that I'm like okay cool like so people identify with me with that and that makes me do one of two things it makes me say okay I should make some more of that and then it also makes me be like okay now let's do something completely, completely different. Good. <laughs> I got, into, I got into producing, it was, it was a very natural thing. Like, I thought I was downloading a video game. And, <laughs> and like, it was around the time, like like I said, it was around those Soulja Boy days to where I was like, just looking at 106 and Park and like, at the same time on the computer, like, really, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, just trying to find myself really. And like, I found myself on the demo, on FL Studio demo, just messing around. And eventually I started getting better at it, like, over time. So it was more just like a, it was a natural, it just came upon me like it was like supposed to happen almost. Like, I, if I was to try to explain it, I'd be taking it all day, <laughs> to be for real. With you. I was making music, uh, a homie of mine like wanted <clears throat> to record, like, I don't know, he was like, oh, let's like record some like demo takes for a music camp. And then he pulled up his laptop. I was like, how you gonna record this in your room? Like, I don't, how does that work? And he plugged in the keyboard into the USB. I was like, whoa. I was like, oh, that's how that worked? He was like, yeah, like it'll just read what you play and like you can just change the sound. I was like, and I was like, is this how they make what I hear on the radio? He was like, yeah. And I was like, bet. <laughs> I say, I mean, everybody's journey is different. I say my journey's definitely been like a everyday learning experience. Like I find out like new things, like even from legends. It's like they're still learning, so it's like I can never feel like that. I know everything already, so I feel like that every day I'm getting better and just finding myself and finding different vibes that I'm capable of doing for other people, you know. So my, it's just, it's it's more professional. I say it's, it's gotten it's gotten to that level because I started with I, I'm still doing it with passion, but I started with just really me, just like needing to is needing to do something, like needing to like not think about too much. So so like I say now my experience is more like learning just I'm learning something every day. I feel like school again, like low key, you know what I'm saying? The biggest learning thing or uh, like experience I think I had was uh just how to like work in the studio, I guess maybe like at the time I just started, like I had only been doing it for like four or something years, like just playing on the computer. Like just learning how like, you know, to really be a producer, you know, from just, you know, making music to like shaping songs and stuff like that. And then I learned that, oh, people like really make money from this. So I was like, well, and it wasn't that I thought people was doing it for free, but I was like, oh, like this is a lucrative thing. That was another learning thing for me. I was just like, oh, like, okay, cool. So then that translated into me like learning, like, oh, the business side of things. Like, oh, like this is how people make money. They do this, they do that, they do this and the third, like, Okay, cool. I, I kind of don't like genres because nowadays people like, people are saying trap is pop. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's different. So it's like now, I feel like, well, as a, crea as like crea as a creator, I feel like we are not just leaders as in hiring the, the next person. We're leaders as in like, we get to say what's a genre or not. So it's like, whoever made hip hop that day I don't, I don't think they was like, yo, this hip-hop. <laughs> word, word. <laughs> so I just feel like, honestly, it's like the popular vote of whatever sounds good, and they just put it in a category, and I kind of don't like that, which is why it's like some of my some of my records, like, it's like it's, it'll sound pop, and then I would have a soulful record that's, that's, that's like a total different genre. It's like whatever just, whatever just feel good to the majority is what I like. That's why I don't really want to label any type of genre. Yeah, I mean, yeah, nah. I, I, I don't like when people say like, oh, you're a producer. Like, what kind of music you produce? I'm like, nah, I don't know. Because I just make music. Like, yeah, I, I feel them on that for sure, 100%. Um, I mean, I like it. It's like, I think definitely, like I said, nowadays, like, I feel like people are catching on to it, but music is mood. The youth is like definitely taking over as, as in listening to music. So like, they, they need that, whatever they, whatever's getting them through school or work. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's it's new, like it's a new genre. I don't even think like how long trap been out. 
for, for me, I feel like it's been it's been a minute, but new. Just, like it's been it's new, real. Like it's a for real new. Cause like, I started listening like, to the trap when it was like Gucci and everything. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, before yeah. that, yeah, like I don't really know. I can't. I'm gonna be honest. It's new. So it's like I just feel like it said it's like it's at a peak right now to where you see, like he said, you will see right nowadays. Like I, you will hear a country song with some trap I had. It's like it's real. <laughs> it's influenced right now to every to every genre. Like it's it's literally like right now like it's crazy. Every almost every song has a trap element to it right now. Yeah, I love my comments. <laughs> I love I, <laughs> hey hey I love it. Hey, I can't even lie for real for real. It's like negative like negative or positive. I love it. I can't even lie. Whatever I did, it obviously touched them to say that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Whether it's like, yo, this dude, this dude ugly, or man, this 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 just two beats, or bro, nails long. It's like, <laughs> yes, yeah, like, bro, like, at the end of the day, you still jamming. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like, it's a win-win. I like it. Like, that's, I don't know. It's some people read it and get mad. I feel like that you, I feel like that you just gotta love yourself. If you don't love yourself, it ain't, it ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> it, that's I love it. That's mine. That's my that's my answer. I, I read some comments, but I don't really go too too deep in it because I don't know. I don't know for some. I, I just don't. I don't. It's crazy. Cause yeah. I'm, it's the crazy. I'm the opposite, bro. I be going deep. I be like, bro, I want to know what bro said. Like, I love it, bro. Like, it's like. I, well, you know, I do. I do read to see what people lie. think. I do sometimes like okay, like not that they're not their opinion, yeah. like not you know what I'm saying. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's not that we're better than them or anything like that. It's like yeah. it's just like yo, we at the end of the day, we made something that made them do that. You know what? I do read comments sometimes. Let me tell you why I read comments. How I just said, like, I come from, like, or not I come from, but I just, like, I'm so influenced by so many different things. And, like, he, he said, I don't have a tag either, so, like, I don't See, that's hard. make music with a tag. I, I work with Boy Wonder, he don't have a tag. So, oh, so like, uh, my favorite producers didn't have a tag. Like, you could identify them sonically, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Kanye West, like, for real. Like, you can tell, you know what I'm saying, their things. And so, my thing is I'm still trying to figure out like what my voice is or like like uh like how can I be like oh like as soon as I hear some music like oh dang that sounds like Jahan made that. You know, yeah. I I wanna um I wanna get better at that. So I read the comments to kinda say like, oh, like if I did something or if I was a part of something like people say, Oh, I really, really like this or I really, really like that, I'm like, okay, cool. Like so people identify with me with that. And that makes me do one of two things. It makes me say, okay, I should make some more of that, and then it also makes me be like, okay, now let's do something completely, completely different than this. So you find out a lot about yourself. That's what I'm saying. You be <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, man, I'm finna just. I, I, that's what I'm saying. It's more of like a thing to where I'm like, yo, man, it's like whatever we, whatever they say, we <laughs> did something to draw them into typing that. <laughs> like it's like a thought that we Word. did that we developed into them. Like that's Word. why I like it. It's like at the end of the day, good or bad comments, man. Like, I love it. Keep them coming, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most like amazing work to me when people can make something that is like dope or like simple. slaps and it's only a couple sounds, like it's two sounds or three. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. It's like, almost like, dang, why I ain't do it? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's well, like, I don't why feel like that, but, but I, I, be, I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> yo, like how, 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 I'm more like, how? Like, how did you <laughs> get this sound with like, with, no, like, with, with nothing? Like, I, Frank Dukes is kind of like that to me. You know? When Frank, I watched Frank make music one time, and I was thinking that he was like doing a bunch of stuff. He was like, "Oh yeah, it's like three sounds, three or four sounds." I'm like, "Huh?" Yeah. And it's like so even like to this day, like I still sit in my room and I make music, and like as soon as I like get over four sounds, I'm like, "This is not good." I just scrap it. I immediately, I, I just close the computer, I scrap it, and I'm just like, yeah, "Let's try something else." Uh, drowning happened super fast. That like happened incredibly fast. I, I mean, like the beat didn't take me uh, like as long as it normally take me to make beats. Uh, but the song he literally wrote that in the hotel room like mad quick before he went on stage. I just ran into him. That I met. That was the first day I met him, and he wrote that in the hotel room, like right before he went on stage. He was like, "Yeah, this is hard." I was like, "I was like, hmm. I was like, yeah, sound dope." He was like, "Cool." And he literally the next day he sent me the song, and I was like, "Oh, that that happened that fast." And then um, Kaylani, when we did the way, I remember we was in New York at Blast Off, and like, it was like the last, like, couple, this is like the last week before we were about to like put out "You Should Be Here," 
And um, I remember she just walked in and I played her the beat. She like skipped on it and then I played it again. She was like, you didn't play this. I was like, I literally just played it right before. And then she got in the booth and just sung that whole song, like almost all the way through. And I was like, whoa, I was like, that's kind of dope. And then the next day she sent it to Chance and Chance hopped on it and we put it on the project right before it came out. The beat that I, that I made for Golem Crew, Crew, it's like five years, six years old. Oh yeah, I saw that, I saw that. I saw that on the um, on the Genius joint. You played the old beat, right? Yeah, and like, Word. like yeah, they both was dope. Yeah, but like it's it's like a old. It's, it's all old. Like all that's old. It's like three six mafia stuff. Like it's just old stuff. Well, see, this was my um, first time being nominated like in like a songwriting category where it's like, like everybody a part of a song is like nominated. Cause I uh, so this one like felt mad special to me. Like, I've been like to be also be a part of like you know Drake's album man. The, um, the Carter's album, but the Lucky You thing was just special to me, just because I'd never been in a um, category like that before. So, so I was, uh, I'm, I was just like super happy, and I don't know. Um, yeah, I say, like I said, that stuff happened so fast. Like I was working on, on the Black Panther joint with Kendrick last year, so and he put the stuff out at the top of the year. And I say the, I say the one thing that, like, for the Post Malone and all that, like those, like. I'm glad those got nominated. I say the one thing that I'm kind of really glad for that got nominated was Nipsey. It's because of the fact that that was a passion thing that I wanted to do. It was like a real passion thing that I like I wanted to do, and like I was like, oh, I don't care, man. I'm finna work with Nipsey. Like, and some people won't do that after they like have a billboard. Like, they they won't because of the fact that they don't they don't like touch that ground base, that soul. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. The fact that his album even was nominated, or like the fact that his name got mentioned in the Grammys, that was the vibe that I was like, "Yo, another, another thing that I that I did that came from the heart, and he got nominated." Like that's the thing that I was like, "Yo, I, I, music is real still. Like it still got that ground to it." 